All right, we're back. We did it. I think it worked. Hopefully, we should be back live as of right now. So, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's about noon. And we're going to do some fun activities today. So hopefully you guys are going to be ready for that. Should be a lot of fun. We're going to be cooking some things up. we got someone in here already. Should be a lot of fun. It's a little something different than I've done. But we're going to make it. We're going to make it happen. And that's all there is to it. We're going to make the most of it. So hopefully you guys should like it. We're going to see how it goes. So we're going to be cooking. We're in the kitchen. It's about noon and beautiful Saturday. Hopefully you guys got to go outside or maybe you're going to go outside, but we got a beautiful day ahead of us. It's uh, some great weather we got going on and should be very exciting. So hopefully you guys get some, uh, some hours in outside, whether you're walking around or playing some sports or jogging around the block, whatever you guys could do. You got to stay active in this time and a lot of stuff we're not able to do, so with not being able to do a lot, it kind of helps us do even more than what we would normally would do at home. So helps us to kind of expand our horizons and kind of be able to try new things and get out of our comfort zone a little bit, but hey, it's nice. It works for us, so that's all there really is to it. We got to stay active, got to stay healthy, and got to make sure that we're all making the most of this. And What's also really cool is it brings everyone together. In a time like this, you think about it. Do you really get to see your neighbors a lot? No. You, you usually don't see them very often. Uh, they usually are in their houses or in and out or working a lot of the time. So there's a lot of times you don't get to see a lot of these people that are living around in your neighborhood or right next to you or any, anywhere. So it's pretty cool to see everyone out and about and doing things and you know what, it's, you, you never really get to see that, so for, uh, for a time that you're able to, it's, it's definitely, a, definitely a pleasure, so hopefully you guys are able to get out and walk around and stay active, whatever you could do, I've been riding my bike around some, working out wherever I can, got to do the in-home in workouts, so it's different, it's, a, it's a definitely a, a change of pace then something different that a lot of us are and uh haven't haven't gotten used to and haven't been used to and just think about how much time you spend in your house nowadays or home and to make uh make the time pass and make it go quicker it's, it's not as easy as uh it was before a lot of times your day was fully packed of activities and running around and doing errands and getting all the things done that you had to do and Nowadays, you're kind of hoping you have enough food in your house and hoping you can get out and kind of exercise and make the most of it. So, pretty good. It's definitely a change of pace, but hopefully you guys are making the most of it. Hopefully, uh, we'll be back pretty soon. That's what we're hoping for, but you never know. You never know where this is going to take us. So, hopefully we'll be done soon with this and hopefully... Everyone should be getting better soon, and hopefully you guys are feeling very good. Uh, I've been feeling pretty good, so I'm happy about that. I've been staying home, haven't been going out much. Most I've been doing is running to the supermarket to grab something, and even that I'm pretty scared to do. You you don't know what's going on out there, and it, it's uh, it's hard. You don't know whether you should get this stuff delivered or not delivered, or you don't really know what to do with all this going on. And You can sit there and watch the news all day, but... It's going to make you even more paranoid, so it's, it's hard, but got to make the most of it while you can, and that, that's been one of my biggest and uh, hardest decisions. It's uh, cooking or delivering or ordering in, I guess you could say, so it's, uh, it's hard because you don't know. You don't know where these people have been. You don't know who they've been in contact with, and although they uh, try to tell us a lot about this, I, I, we don't know that much about it all in all. They don't know that much, so they keep finding new things about it every every time you uh, open the news. So pretty cool, but uh, hopefully hopefully this will be coming to an end pretty soon. Hopefully uh, everyone will be getting better, and hopefully everything should uh, start getting better. The economy should start getting better, and hopefully 
we're gonna get this uh get this taken care of and uh everything's gonna be getting back into business and crazy year we got ahead of us we got an election year so there's a lot going on and hopefully uh we're gonna make the most of it and should be getting better and should be fun so we're gonna see how that goes so what can what can we do uh Unfortunately, I've been watching the news a little bit more than I've wanted to and that I've been expecting to. And they said uh, these last two weeks were supposed to be a little bit of uh, the hardest. And hopefully we've kind of gotten over the hump a little bit now. And hopefully we're going to start working our way into the uh, into the progression of recovering and hopefully growing the economy again. And you never know. I've, uh, I've heard that symptoms could last up or not symptoms necessarily, but... You could go unsymptomatic before you get sick for about two weeks. So that's uh, pretty pretty scary to hear about because just just in a in a day, think about how many people you really see and you you don't even take uh, take it into an account to afterwards and, until something like this were to happen when you really can't see anyone, you can't see many people, and I I haven't seen my friends, I a lot of my family I haven't been able to see because of this and. There's a lot going on, so we got to make the most of it, and hopefully everyone is uh, teaming up and going together and making the most out of this as they can. So it's uh, it's it's hopefully we're gonna be getting better and should be a good thing. But we're we're hoping for the best. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this to be getting better and to pro- progress into a great recovery, and hopefully things should start getting back to normal back to normal pretty shortly so that's what we're gonna hope for but i'm here today with you guys hopefully i will be able to kind of break you out of that little uh cycle that you guys have got going on and hopefully you guys will be able to kind of relax and be able to have a little something different that you guys don't get very often so we're happy i'm happy i'm able to kind of show show up for you guys and be able to show out to you guys and it should be good I'm, I'm happy you guys could see me so we got to make the most of it however we can but all right so we're gonna bring it back i got on a little bit of a tangent sorry about that guys i hope everyone's doing great i hope it's a uh, beautiful morning for everyone else and i hope everyone is doing just well themselves so i'm doing pretty good myself we're we're here we're ready to start cooking and I got a very, very fun surprise for you guys today, so I'm not going to drop the ball on it quite yet on what I'm going to be doing, but uh, we're going to work our way into it. So, like I said before, today is a lovely Saturday morning. We got the sun shining, the birds chirping, and the squirrels running around. So, you know what? It's a good day outside. It doesn't look as windy as yesterday. I know uh, outside yesterday, you, you almost... You didn't want to go outside. You you couldn't really do much. It was it was terrible out. I mean, it it wasn't freezing, freezing cold. It's been much more colder than it has been. I sound like a weather guy over here now. Oh man, but um, today I I haven't even got the chance to get outside. But it's looking beautiful, and I'm uh, I'm excited. Hopefully, getting some time to go outside, and hopefully, you're gonna be able to have some fun and get some activities and a workout or some exercise in. So. That's for later. We'll keep that. Uh, we'll keep that. Keep that for later. Don't worry about that. But Chef Steven is here. Yep, and uh, I'm gonna be making something good for you guys today. So I was thinking, with this beautiful morning, of course, what do you guys love on a beautiful morning? So I know some of you guys have been up for a good amount of time, but you know what? Breakfast, lunch, brunch. They call it brunch. We, we're going to call it brunch for now. How about we go with something like that? So we'll go with a brunch because you know what? I got a little little something that um, I like to make myself. Um, I don't eat it very often because of uh, the lengthy time that it might take to cook. We don't always have that uh, time available for us at, all the t- at, at any cost. But hey, sometimes when you're able to, you got the time. You got a family, you, got, you guys could cook for all of them. Hey, it's nice. Um, so we're going to, we're going to make something good for brunch. We're going to classify them together. So if you go with brunch, we got tons and tons of different, 
tons of different foods that you could go for that you you might be able to eat for brunch. So let's just think. So you could go go out to a restaurant. Let's just say you go out to a bre- breakfast and lunch kind of um, diner or a deli or anywhere. For instance, you could get tons and tons of things. They always have a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, whatever. So a couple things that um, I always or not always, but I tend to eat on a, for a breakfast or kind of like a lunch thing. Well, you know what? How about how about we start with breakfast more, more so because there's more, much more breakfast um, foods that will fit into this category that uh, you guys should like. So, a couple things you might got, you guys might have for for um, for breakfast might be some things such as like oatmeal. You guys might have uh, eggs, maybe some grits. We got waffles, toast, toast with jelly, toast with butter. We got, there's tons of different things. You could do an omelet, which is still kind of eggs. Got, oh man, they they never end. You go on forever. But you know what? Let's let's go a little bit more into, into the lunch. So for lunch, you could have a sandwich. You could have some types of pasta. Now with lunch, we're going even into more categories. But we'll keep it simple. We're going to keep it simple for now and try to keep it so that you guys will, uh, you guys should know and, Maybe something that you guys might have cooked uh, once or twice throughout your days. So, it should be fun. We'll see how it goes and see where it takes us. So, so let's go with this. I bet you guys know what IHOP is. IHOP is known for something very famous of their own. They make, uh, they make something that's uh, pretty special to them. Um, I believe most of you guys are able to get over there or have been over there once or twice, maybe not be able to go over there at the moment with, uh, all this going on, but I believe they actually deliver. So if that helps you, you could always go pick it up, however you want to think about it. So that's always pretty cool. But, um, yeah, back to this brunch type of breakfast, lunch area. So I like couple different things. I have a I have a pretty big sweet tooth, but um a good uh a good food in the morning that I like to eat are pancakes. Pancakes. And can you guys take a take a guess or guess or a reason why I might like pancakes so much? You know, with the sweet tooth. Yep. Very good. You guys figured it out. So with pancakes, I mean it could it a lot of these go with waffles too. They're they're very similar. They're kind of the same, but you're able to add a whole bunch of things into just pancakes or waffles, and you know what? The the options are endless. So you're able to kind of even go onto things such as one of my favorites are chocolate chips in your pancakes or waffles, or you can even go blueberries, bananas. You know what? The the they're end, the options are endless. So. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna start getting on with this, and we're gonna show you guys what I like to do, and we're gonna kind of take it away. So, 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 let me show you guys a little something of what I was starting off with. Let's see what am I? Uh, all right. So, pancakes. Pancakes. We're gonna start making. So we got some Aunt Jemima self rising flour. So what's cool about this flour is that you don't need that extra kind of baking soda or anything else to kind of help it rise. It's self-rising, so we're good with that. We're only going to use the one ingredient. Today, if you do notice, we're not using whole wheat, though. So it's going to be a little different, but we're still doing good. We got some of that sugar. Sugar, sugar. We love her. We love us some sugar. So after some sugar, we got some milk. Reduce fat, 2% milk, you know how we do it. We're doing good. Look at those. We got our eggs. We got some of these grand old eggs. Look at that. Some veggie oil. We love us some veggie oil for all us veggies. And we got a bowl. So we're gonna start going. And you know what, we're gonna start whipping this up. So we're gonna start doing good. So. So, you guys know what's the first thing before you do anything. 
you're gonna have to wash your hands. So, you don't wanna forget. We're gonna start washing. When I get this water hot, but you gotta be careful because with this water I got here, it gets super hot. Super, super hot. So we gotta be super careful. So, get some soap on them, wash them up. And I love this soap because it has that dawn in it. It's got that blue hint of the dawn in it. Dawn, I feel like it's the best type of uh, soap that you can get out there. Shouldn't be promoting them too much. They're not uh, giving me anything for it, but you know, I really, I really like myself some Dawn. Some Dawn is definitely some good soap. They definitely are helping us out, getting the crease off, getting everything off. So, you know, gotta get all those germs, the bacteria, all those bad things. We don't need none of them. Oh man. So, we did good. We got water everywhere. That's how you know. And we've got to use a new, new one so we're not getting germs anywhere. Oof. So, let's get rid of this. Just my coffee cup. So, pancakes. Pancakes. We're starting off with some pancakes. So, all the ingredients right in front of me. Now we're good to go. Now let's start measuring some of them. So, we're gonna need two cups of some flour. So we got our nice, handy dandy cup. Now we're gonna go for two cups. So it's right about halfway. Right about our halfway point right there. So. So I was pretty close. I couldn't tell. I had to I had to shake it a little bit. So let's see what we're working with. We're right under. So I'd rather have a little extra than under. Except I think that might be a little too much extra, but we're gonna see. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I am a chef. How could that be so perfect? Didn't even have to put it back. That's a surprise. So, we got two cups of our flour. We're gonna use about three tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna wait a second on that. Half, or actually, excuse me, one and a half cups of milk. And so, the flour and the sugar are going to be our first two things going together. So we're going to use some of this flour that I got right here, right in our mixing bowl. And, so that, that'll be my first bet. Let's put this in here, get that out of our way. Okay, done with that. Like it flat. So now we gotta go with some sugar. Some sugar, just like our song. So, three tablespoons of sugar. So, sugar, we could always go with an extra couple sugars, but anything works. So, let's get some of this sugar out. Oh, look at this, first time use. I feel special. Or maybe not. Might have broken. It's okay. We're gonna worry about that later. So, get that out of my way. Look at this. So, look at that. One. And we're doing three. Three tablespoons of sugar. Two, three. 
third one is a little bit lighter because I made the first two a little heavier. So it's all to taste. And you're gonna know all this when, once you start doing it once or twice, but that, that was just a little bit of uh, what I was doing now. So I got the, the little bit of spatula going with me. So look, as you can see, we got all that sugar right on top. We don't want that sugar on top. We wanna kind of be able to have that as a, as a floury sugar, as I like to call it, that sugar flower. So that sugar flower, I bet they got a flower name there. But we're gonna get this all jumbled up. Gonna get this sugar mixed in there so we got some sugar flour and that's kind of all we want to do so just kind of be able to get that around mix that up then we're gonna flatten that back out now you get that you get that kind of that nice sugary flowery smelling i don't know if it's just me maybe it's just the sugar smell but i'm smelling something and it's delicious it's almost like that smell uh when you're coming down, when you're coming down uh, from bed on a Sunday morning, and mom's cooking uh, breakfast, you smell them cooking already. All right, so that's enough. That's enough on that note. So next thing is going to be our milk and our eggs and our oil as well, but that's okay. So now. The eggs, the milk, and the oil are all gonna go into our little bit of mixture, and then we're gonna start baking that from there. Baking, cooking, however you wanna think of it. Whatever, same thing. So, we got rid of that. Now, I'm gonna add the milk right into the pan. Not the pan, the mixture, excuse me. So, we're doing one and a half cups of milk. So you know what, I got two little cups. I figured that would be easier than kind of being able to, oh, sorry, fingers are right on it. So that's one cup, half a cup. Half a cup, so look, I got two of them. Easier for you, easier for me. Look at that, we're doing good. Full blown milk, pour all that milk all in there. Now we got a half a cup left. Now, this is just my little recipe that I have for them. A lot of these things here to, to taste or to touch or it's really up to you and how you kind of want to go about them. So it's really up to your preference. So how much you want to add of them. So I was going to start doing that a little bit, but we got the eggs right here. So let's get these out of the way. So. Yep, that might be good. So, got that egg out of there. Now we got one more egg. Look at that. I'm pretty good at cutting these. Cutting them right in half. Now, I have all this juice on my hands. I'm not a big fan of that juice, so I'm gonna wash these quick because we don't wanna contaminate everything with these eggs. So, quick, quick, quick. So you know what, I'm still pretty clean. I wanna consider it. We can never be too clean, but I'm not a big fan of those eggs all over me and touching all this stuff. I mean, I know a lot of this stuff that could be getting clean, but it can never be too much. So, gonna rinse these hands, wash them off. Might have been a little bit quicker, but it's all right. Wanna make sure we're clean and we're not touching anything bad. So, let's get these all whisked up. Now this is the worst part because you're gonna, you don't wanna get all this egg everywhere. So, that's, that came out pretty good, that's pretty thick. Just what I wanted. Now we're gonna add this into our mixture. 
So. You know what? We want to get it a little bit thicker. I don't know if it's the pad or the bowl or the whisk, but. Okay, that's looking a little bit, a little bit more where I was going for it. So that's all good. We're going to sprinkle that right around, right around, all in town. All right, pretty good with that. Now, last but not least, we can't forget about the veggie oil. So we're going to use about a third of a cup of veggie oil. So, all good. Good, pour that right in. Now we're gonna mix that all up. So, we wanna get all that flour around, all that sugar around, and now we have a lot of liquids in there. So we're trying to use some of this dry stuff to basically be able to soak it all up and kind of make this into the sticky kind of batter that we're looking for but we got to find that that consistency that we like we want to make sure all this batter gets mixed up we can't have any dry spots we all want it to be about the same all about the same kind of thickness and density to it we don't want any of these dry spots i don't know if you could see some of them but every now and again as i'm mixing it i get a little dry spot up to the top and that's kind of what we're looking for while, while mixing it and doing it. We want to make sure we don't have many of those dry spots. So try to kind of make sure that you get the, get the sides of the pan down too because I know that a lot of the dry, dry stuff likes to stick to that. And now I know I'm using a, a little spatula type of thing, but you're able to use like a whisk or a lot of other things as well. Ah, this is coming out nice. So we really want to get this very smooth. We don't want any clumps in it. We want to get all these out. So I don't know if you can see some of them, but I see a whole bunch of them in here. I don't know how my phone is coming out with it. But I want to make sure we get this pretty good. And I don't know if it's because I'm using the spatula right now, but some of these clumps aren't going away as easier than others. So I don't know if you can see a lot of these clumps. They still have a bunch of them in here, which I'm not really liking too much. So to get some of these thicker clumps, more of these more stubborn clumps that don't want to come out so easily, I'm going to try using maybe this whisk and seeing how kind of that's going to go with it. So. Hopefully that'll get a lot more of these out. I know it's a smaller whisk than we need or than I could use, but it'll it'll get the job done for now and we're gonna we're gonna try our best, so Now, although it might look delicious and it might look pretty good, it's not that brownie batter that you might try to eat out of it. It's not going to taste as good. So, a lot of that's coming out better. But, I don't want to forget while I'm mixing this, let me turn on this pan and we'll try to get going. So, I'm right here with this. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna want it on kind of in the middle, about medium, medium to high. We want that flame going just a little bit. Now, we don't want to just put a put a regular pan on there. So, we're gonna take a little clump of butter, 
Just a little bit, not too, too much. Want to make sure that that'll work. Look at that. So, just get this little piece of butter. Look at that. Got that hanging on. Perfect. Look at that. Got that f sliding around. Want all that to melt right up in there. That's all good stuff. So, I like to slide it around a little bit. Get that going good. Get that butter melted. So, almost dropped it. So, that's looking good. Now, we're going to start going on to the next step. So, look, I'm going to use this nice little handy ladle I got because it, it makes a very good sized pancake. Now, we want to start going because that's going to be ready. So, take a nice sized pancake. That works. We're going to kind of get that right out into the middle. Still very, very thick. You see the, de the, the consistency of that. Try to get that all good. Gonna try spreading it around a little bit, see how thick it is. We want to kind of get that so that it's all about the same. I should have got another spatula to try to kind of flatten that. Just waiting on bubbles on the top of that. Ready, to, waiting to see when it will be ready. Well, we're gonna need something to take this off now. All good. We got the spatula ready to go. We got this pancake looking pretty good. We're we're watching these bubbles really now. We're trying to figure out when's the best, when's the best one. So you see how on the bottom right there, it's starting to bubble. That's going to make it so. We're getting there. It's not fully there yet, but it, we're working. We're working towards it. So we're getting there. So this was. So we're going to start getting ready to flip it because it's going to start getting ready. That's looking pretty good. Now let's see how my flipping skills are. Voila! We got a fat pancake right there, but it's looking good. It's very fluffy with uh, that baking soda. No, we didn't use no baking soda. We didn't have to. It was all from the flour. The self-rising flour really did it. Now that's looking pretty, pretty good. We don't want to play with it too much. We're going to kind of bother it a little little more than it's than is needed but hey this looking pretty good it's coming out very good it's looking like looking nice pretty firm who, who, who gets the first one who wants it or should I keep it this one's for me all right so let's just see this other side looking pretty good so give that a second and we're done done so taking that off perfect all right now let's get one more going oh we're gonna need more butter though first so get another one wow that took a lot of the butter we can't get this into a dry pan i think everything's clean and 
So I want to get that going around town, get all those in there. Oh, look at that grease in the pan. Now, guys, see how much batter we got? We got a pretty good amount of batter. We got maybe enough for the family or so. So, getting it out of the ladle might be the hardest part, but it was worth it. Worth it for you guys. So, we got this heat on pretty nice right now. It's a sticky one. Now let's check the bottom of this quick. We're just seeing where they see all those bubbles. They're not they're tiny bubbles, so we we're waiting for the bigger ones to come up. Trying to point them out to you and trying to show how you're gonna know when basically your pancakes are gonna be done and over with and all good to go. So still got those tiny bubbles cooking. But So, let's try taking this. We're going to try flipping this one quick. Oh, look at that. It smells delicious. Oh, man. I can't wait to eat. Now, the most important thing is you guys can't forget. Syrup. Syrup, it. you're going to love it. You're going to need it with them. Can't eat them without syrup. And the other thing, only cook as many as you could eat. So, you don't want to ton of these laying around afterwards when uh, you can't eat them because you're going to be in trouble. That's coming out very, very nice. So that's a little burnt. It's looking great. So, next step, a little bit of butter. Really wanted to smooth that out, didn't want to work with me. So, if you see not many, not many bubbles, they're all, all the bubbles are very tiny, staying pretty still. So, we're going to wait for this one to cook. So, I'm still not seeing too many bubbles on the bottom. Put a little, and a little bit of more of that grease. It might be time. Wait a sec. We're gonna we're gonna wait. This one is not my friend. All right, doing pretty good. You know what? Very important, guys. 
Like I said before, only cook as many as you could eat. You don't need these laying around, otherwise you'll be eating them all day long. So, that's coming out pretty, pretty good. Had a little trouble flipping that one. Might not have been enough butter on it, but it's a learning experience. Gonna, you're gonna find it. Gonna let it sit for a second. This was not my best pancake, but it's okay. Still looking pretty good. I think it's starting to starting to finish up. Gonna give it a second. Look at those. Perfect. All right. Last, last but not least, we can't forget, you guys. Before we're done cooking, we always gotta have to turn this off. We don't want, we don't want to leave it on for the next person to come home and find the stove on. Them. They might not start cooking right away. So, good to know. Thank you guys for joining in. I'm happy I uh, was able to see some of you guys and. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, so it was delicious, and thank you guys for everything, so we're here for you if you need anything, so please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.